Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I make simple blinds and shutters using a 1001 bit tools plugin and it just allows you to create these angled loose really easily and simply and you can use them to get like really nice effects with the V-Ray sun and shadow just gives a bit of a realistic look to it and it will also make the renders look quite nice so this is the same model just rendered with V-Ray and you just get this nice effect of the of the shadow and it makes things look quite nice and realistic so let's make a start we'll get rid of our existing blind first and I'll just hide this cupboard and tap so we've got a bit more room to work so to start off you just draw a rectangle over the window opening from one corner to the other leave it ungrouped and just select the face so let's open the toolbar so you right click and then select 1001 bit tools so as you can see there's loads of different uh, things on it different features and things you can do uh, I don't use it all the time so that's why I keep it hidden and I've got an HD screen here so the icons are showing really small for some reason um, but anyway this is the little tool you want so if you hover over it you'll see it says create horizontal loose on selected faces so all you do is click that and then you can put in your parameters which is really uh, straightforward self-explanatory really so we've got the depth which you can see the little D here so we're going to make that 40 mil and then the thickness we're going to make that 4 mil and then the spacing which is RS which is this one here we're going to make that 50 and then the angle A will just leave that at 30 degrees and then you can choose whereabouts you want the loops to start from which doesn't really matter because we're going to move it anyway so I'm just going to select the front so they'll come from the front of the face and then once you've done that just click the button wait a couple of seconds and there is your blind which you can give a bit of color and move into place and uh, scale if you want to now there is a slightly simpler way of doing it in terms of the toolbar because I don't want that toolbar open it's just uh, just gets in the way so if we go back to our rectangle here and instead of opening the toolbar you click on extensions go down to 1001 bit tools and this fly out menu will open go down to windows doors and windows rather and then simply select horizontal loops select your parameters in this case it's saved from what we just used click the button and there we go so all I'll do now is move that into place so just select it get your move tool and then just sort of slide it just in front of the window which is where it would normally be now if you want the blind to be pulled up a bit which it would quite often be in a sort of normal setting you simply use the scale tool so select it click here the scale tool or use your shortcut key just click it once and then what I normally do is turn x-ray on so you can see these little green boxes here which are your scale anchor points so just click on this one in the middle horizontally click on it once move your mouse up to where you want the blind to be let's say about halfway click again and there we go let's turn x-ray mode off and the nice thing about that is it works as a blind would in real life it just bunches up the uh, the horizontal slats there so really easy to do I'm actually going to move it back down a little bit and then we can see how that looks with some shadows so we've moved on to this scene here let's turn on the sunlight using our default tray so we go to shadows and just click this little button here so at the moment there's no shadows showing because the sun is shining in the wrong direction so to rectify that i'm going to bring up our solar north tool which is a little plugin which is really useful which doesn't come a standard with sketchup although it should do so you get this little pointer compass thing here which i've got on the island click it once and then just move it around and you can see you can get the sun to shine in whatever direction you want it to so i quite like sort of it maybe not quite on the island but just the corner there 
just the light kissing the corner. So let's do that. Update the scene to save that. And then we've got a nice effect to, to use how we want. And again, I'll leave a link to that plugin in the description below. So to make the shutters, it's pretty much the same thing. You just start off with the frame. So let's uh, just measure the window. So we've got 1740, so we'll divide that by three. 17.4 divided by three, so we've got 580. So we draw a rectangle, which is 580 by 1100, which is the height of the window. So 580 by 1100. Okay, we'll give it a thickness of, let's say 30 mil. So we use our push-pull tool, which is this one here. Give that a 30 mil. And then we'll use the offset tool to make the frame, which is this one here. So click once on the edge, bring it in, type 30 on your number pad and press enter. Click the center and then again, push-pull it so it hits the back and then we've got the frame. So let's group that. And then we draw another rectangle inside that. I'm just going to hide the window so you can see a bit better and the wall. So that leave that ungrouped, but we'll select it. We go to extensions, 1001 bit tools, windows and doors or doors and windows, horizontal loops. And this time we're going to make the loops a bit thicker and a bit wider. So the depth or deeper, I should say. So the depth we're going to make 60. The thickness will make six. The spacing will also make more. We're going to go for, I don't know, let's say 80. And then the angle, again, we'll keep that at 30. So let's have a look what that looks like. Yeah, that's about right. So let's click on what we've just made and then move it back a bit. There we go. And move it up a little bit as well. Whoops. That's about right, maybe down just a touch. Let's group those two together. Go back to the scene. And then if you press M and control, which is the shortcut key for move, move it once, press times two, and there we have the shutter set up, one for each window pane, and then again, Let's move it back. Just in front of the window. With the plugin, you always end up with the edges of the rectangle left over in the model for some reason. I don't know why that is, but you can just simply delete them out. It's just some loose geometry left over. Just have a quick look again, how that looks like with the, with the shadow. Let's get our Solar North tool up again. And then you can just sort of find something that you like. So we can just do a quick trial render, just on V-Ray. And you can sort of see there's quite a nice lighting effect. And as the render processes, you'll get these nice shadows and, and effects how you want. Thanks for watching. Have a blinding day, old chap.